And in sports today, Gary Al Smith talks to Ghana and for, uh, to the former Juventus star Quejo Asamoah about his move to Inter Milan after six years with the old ladies of Italian Serie A. You've been away from the national team since 2014. Specifically, tell us what injury problems you have had. I had um, um, this injury called uh, uh, cartilagine, which I never expected to stay for a very long time. I was expecting something like um, five to six months, but it took almost a year and a half. And even it got, it got to a point uh, I didn't even know what else to do because I was training, I was doing everything just to come back to my normal form. But it wasn't up to because every time and day I train, I feel these pains in my knee. And it got to a point I was getting better. And when I was getting better, that was when I also had a different injury. That was minor, but it was just for a month, but it was something uh, that made me cry because I was wondering what was going on because after staying home or maybe not being fit for almost a year and a half, and then now that I, I was feeling so better, another injury has just, okay, so what can I do? So I have to pray, I have to try and do everything just to come back. And even it got to a point, people were thinking maybe uh, that was the end of my career. Yeah. And then even some of my colleagues, they used to joke, they used to play with me. Although they were, they were not serious about that, but they used to say like, uh, that's your end, you, are, you, are, you, can't, you can't come back anymore. But I thank God I came back, I had a fantastic uh, season. And then that's when people realized like, okay the person that we were criticizing the person that we thought could, could not even come back on his feet is even do is even doing better than before inter milan approached you tell us the story of when you decided to leave juventus um i think a month yeah a month or maybe a month and a half to finish the season that was when i decided to leave the club because it was so difficult for me to have that decision. Leaving Juventus after six years with great achievements and the relationship I had with the, with the team, with the fans and everyone, I couldn't just tell them I'm leaving. It was so difficult for me. It even got to a point, even when, when I go to bed, I couldn't even sleep. I, I had to think about all those things. It was so difficult for me, but I had to look also to the future of my family and then make that decision and also to my career because um, things wasn't the same the first three years when I went to Juventus. I had some, some struggles and then difficulties um, and I had to come back so um, I needed some changes and then pick up a new challenge for myself and for my family. So that's when I made that uh, statement and decision. What is the, you won, what, seven Scudetti or six? Six and then uh, four Coppa Italia and then three uh, Super Coppa. Which was the most fulfilling of all the Scudetti you won? Oh, trophies. You wanna... I think all the trophies are just important. Which no? The which like, one? Which season was most difficult? That or something? What? Which season will stand out for you when you? Wow! I won many, but this season. Uh, my second season, when I won, um, uh, when I was one of the best players from that position, and then we won the league. And we also did well in, um, in, in the UEFA, uh, not the Champions League, the Europa League. Yeah. But unfortunately, we couldn't reach the finals. But that year was just amazing, it was fantastic. Well, um, I'm going there um, as a new player, as a new home, a new family. 
um, I want to do my best at all times because um, they spoke to me about their project and, and I'm happy to be part of the team because um, they are a team that is trying to win the league. They're building a very good team. They are also back in the Champions League. So I'm just happy to be with the team now to put out my best um, to help the team. Before the decision was made, you said it's, uh, you, you, you considered leaving Juventus about a month to the end of the season. Yeah. So if you can walk us through, was it then that you told your agent about it that you would like to move so he should start working? Or he told you that there's interest and then you said, okay, how, how did it work out? Well, the thing was, um, I think from the beginning of the season, that was when some teams came and then Juventus ignored all their um, proposals. And I think most of them stopped on their way. But um, Galatasaray was one of the teams that never gave up. They were just pushing from the beginning, even from the middle, all the time, sending me messages, um, giving uh, like talking to Juventus just to release me to them. It even got to a point I almost went there, but Juventus didn't allow that because they wanted me at that moment. So I had to stay. So I was there and then till January, I thought, okay, um, Juventus will come to me with a different offer because I wanted to stay. It was difficult for me to leave. So I was just waiting for them and I waited, I waited, and they were not coming to me because the contract that they wanted to give me, like they wanted to give to me, wasn't the best. So I had to um, tell them no because um, uh, I can't take that offer. I have to wait and then see. So they were there waiting for me to tell them yes, and I, I was also waiting for them. So it got to a point where some teams came up and it was almost two or three months to the season. I never signed any contract. I never did anything with any other club. I was still waiting for Juventus. Most of the times when players uh, got to, the, to that stage, they normally sign for clubs because after six months or maybe when you have six months more to finish and then go as a free player you might not know what must might happen maybe tr during training or maybe games you, you might get hurt or maybe injuries and that one you might not even get a team you might go home without any other team i took all those risks just to wait for juventus and they were still there waiting for me yeah and it got to a point, this team started coming, approaching me with uh, good offers, um, with uh, a lot of determination, like you, you, you could feel, they okay, were they were so serious about me. And I was not giving them the chance. I told my agent, just wait, let, they should wait. I will think about it. By the time Juventus made their mind of giving me everything that I want or make me stay, it was just too late for me. Because I felt if you really want me, you wouldn't wait till that long. So, yeah. so I had to let everything go and then move on. At least I've done my best for the past six years. I was humble to everyone. I was disciplined. I never had any problems with any player or any coach or any fan. So yeah, I think it was time for me just to leave and then move on and then think about my career. Gary I'll Smith there with Kweja Samoa for sports. So you can log on to myjoyonline.com for more news and information. If you do want to see some of the videos from here on the Joy News channel, you can scroll all the, all the way down and you get to see our YouTube link right there on the page.